All right, so we have this fundamental theorem of calculus, which is the whole big connection between derivatives and integrals. So hopefully you've gone through the proof of this, but basically just says if I differentiate my integral, I get my function back. So this is pretty easy to do if the top limit, your upper limit, is just x. So if I had something, let's say for example, of from 0 to x of cosine t dt, then this is just straightforward that all you do is simply plug this value in and you get your function back. So pretty easy, right? The only time that this gets a little crazy is when this value is not x. So if we ended up with an example kind of just like this, but now my upper limit is square root of x. So notice this doesn't match that exactly. Well, that's okay because I can do this one or two ways. I can, the first thing I could do is I could evaluate, so let's say this is a part A. So part A says to evaluate this integral and then differentiate the results. Well, I know that the antiderivative of cosine is sine because that's what it took to take the derivative of to get that. And then I evaluate it at my limits of integration. So that becomes sine of square root of x minus sine of zero, which of course sine of zero is just zero. And from here, so this piece becomes zero, now I differentiate the result. So I have the derivative of sine square root of x. Well, the derivative of sine is cosine. And then don't forget the chain rule. The chain rule says now take the derivative of the inside, which if you remember that nice little shortcut, the derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 square root of x. And thus we get our final answer. Just put this on top of each other. So this is one way where you find the antiderivative, evaluate it at its limits of integration, and then you differentiate the results. Now you can also do this directly, which is using this fundamental theorem of calculus. So if I'm up here, then I'm saying, let me go ahead and rewrite this. So I have 0 square root of x cosine t dt. So the only problem here is I can plug this in directly, so I end up with cosine square root of x, but now I have to differentiate this piece because it's not just an x. Well, as you can see, once I differentiate that piece, I'm going to get the same thing, 1 over 2 square roots of x, which gives me the same answer as below. So this is just a more direct way that says, well, just simply plug in this limit and then differentiate this value, where this says go ahead and integrate, plug in the limits of integration, and then differentiate the results back. And if you do it correctly, you should get the same answers.